边。We're going to see some amazing things. 我们会看到一些非常奇妙的事。In the first three verses of the Bible， 在圣经里面的前三节经文中 ，Genesis chapter one， 启示录第一章 ，verses one through three， 第一节到第三节。It says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. 怎么说？起初神创造天地。The earth was without form and void. 地是空虚混沌 ，and darkness was over the surface of the deep. 渊面黑暗 ，but but the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the deep. 神的灵运行在水面上 ，and God said, "Let there be light." 神说要有光 ，and there was light. 就有了光。Now we're all familiar with this scripture. 这段经文我们都很熟悉。That God created everything, 神创造了所有一切 ，and that He spoke the world into existence. 他宣告世界就被造出来 ，and He made it out of nothing. 他从无有中把世界创造出来。But as I was studying this passage, 可是当我开始研读这段经文的时候 ，I found that we have all three persons of the Trinity. 我们就发现三位一体的神，那三位都在整个创造的过程当中出现。That are involved and active in the act of creation. 在这个创造的过程当中，他们三位都都出现。Also, I was reading in a scientific journal. 然后我有一次在读一个关一个科学的刊物。That there are three things that are needed for matter to exist. 就是任何的物质的东西要存在，必须要有三个很重要的元素。The first one is nuclear forces or atomic particles, atoms. 第一个很重要的就是我们的原子。The second one is gravitational forces that would hold them together. 第二个是很重要的就是要有地心引力会让它们聚在一起。And the third one is electromagnetic forces that would define what they were like. 第三个就是很重要的就是什么电电子的那个电电呃那个中文是什么？电池 ，Yeah, it's okay. I think they get it. Yes, the um the waves and motion that would define what shape matter would take. 然后就是那一个它的能力，那个能量，它会决定这一个物质它是什么样的一个形状。So all three of these things. 所以这三个东西呢 ，that are necessary for matter to exist. 要让这些物质的东西可以存在的这个元素 ，are also found in the first three verses of Genesis. 同时也在创世纪的三节当中，我们可以发现。So let's look at these three things. So we're going to look at these three things. It says, "In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth." 就说起初神创造天地。But the earth was without form. 地是空虚混沌，是没有一个形形状的。And it was void. 渊面黑暗。And and darkness was over the face of the waters. 渊面黑暗。Now this is where we stop. This is Father God creating something out of nothing. 这就是父神他从无有当中要创造出来的时候了。This is God creating the atomic particles. 是神要创造这个这个原子的物质当中。These are the particles that would be used to create everything in the heavenly and in the earthly realm. 透过这些这个原子，他要创造在天上的跟在地上的。So he created the atomic particles or the nuclear forces. 所以他创造出这个原子或者这个原子的能量。But it says that they were still formless. 可是这边说它是空虚混沌，意思是说没有形状的。They had no shape yet. 他们没有任何的形状。This is why it says that he created the heavens and the earth. 这是为什么他说他创造天地。But they still had no shape. 可是他们没有任何的形状。Because everything that was needed to create the heaven and earth realm. 因为所有他需要能够创造天跟地的那些的东西。It existed in this tiny particle form. 就在这个小小的原子当中，这个里面都有了。So we have God the Father creating the atomic particles. 所以我们看见天父就创造了这个原子。And then we have the Holy Spirit in verse two. 第二节就有圣灵出现了。And it says the Holy Spirit was hovering over the face of the deep. 神的灵运行在水面上。This word "hovering" in the Hebrew language. 这个运行这个希伯来的原文呢 ？It's the word "rakaf," 就是 "rakaf," and it means to vibrate back and forth. 那个 "rakaf" 意思就是震动，不断的那个波动，震动。这 It's a rapid back and forth motion. 是很快的一个来回的一个震动的这样的一个动作。And this is what we believe happened here. 我们相信这就是在这边所发生的事情。That God created the atomic particles that would make all of heaven and earth. 
父神他创造出可以创造天地这些东西的那个本质那个原子。And the Holy Spirit started the waves that would hold them together. 然后圣灵就开始了那一个震动，让这些东西可以存留在一起。He made the particles come alive. He made the particles come alive. He energized the creation. He made the particles come alive. He made the particles come alive. So he started the vibrational forces. 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 The Holy Spirit was energizing the creation. 圣灵在这个创造的过程当中加添力量。So now it has the power to come together. 所以现在它有能力可以连接在一起了。But what shape will it take on? 但是它会有什么样的一个形状呢 ？And this is the third part of the equation. 这是第三个非常重要的元素了。That then God said, "Let there be light." 然后神就说要有光。Who is it referring to here? 这边讲的是哪一位啊 ？It's referring to Jesus. 讲的是耶稣。How do we know that? We know that because the Scripture says in the book of John, because the Scripture says in the book of John, that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and that through Him all things were created, and that without Jesus nothing was made, and so this is the Word speaking. This is Jesus speaking over creation. Is Jesus 宣告在这个创造物中间 And his words, 他的话语 become the shape that matter will take on. 就成为这个东西的形状 Whatever he speaks, 他所说的任何东西 creation will take on that shape or that form. 那个创造的东西就会有那个形状 I want to show you a video right now. 我现在给大家看一个影片 That is an example of this in science. 是透过科学来验证刚才我所说的这个东西 And it's called the resonance square. 这个叫做那个 resonance， 就是一个那个音乐的那个震动的那那 square. Resonance is the sound that a vibration makes. 那 resonance 就是当它震动当中你会有的那个声音。共鸣。But this is going to be an example, a picture of what happened at creation. This is 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 what happened at creation. And we shoot a sound wave into the plate. 我们就把一个音波放进到这个里面。And the sand takes on the shape of whatever sound you put into it. 所以你播什么样的音波，它那那个那个沙子就会有什么样的形状。So watch what happens as different sounds affect the sand. 所以你看看不同样的音波会怎么样影响这个沙。So I want you to picture with me. Right, you 跟我一起想象一下 that the sand that we sprinkled on that plate at the beginning. 我们一开始在这一个盘子上面所撒的那个沙 It was like God creating the particles of heaven and earth. 就好像神创造天跟地当中那个原子 But they hadn't been shaped yet. 可是当时他们没有形状 And so the Holy Spirit starts vibrating. 然后圣灵就开始震动 Which is like the sound entering into this plate. 就好像那个声音进到这一个里面一样 
But then the word comes and defines what that sound would be like. 然后后来就有话语进来告诉说那个声音应该怎么样发响。And the different sounds are like the voice of Jesus. 不同样的音波，不同样的声音，就好像耶稣的声音一样。But what you're actually seeing here, 你现在所在看的东西 ，is that every sound has a shape. 就是每一个音波都有它的独特的形状。Every sound has a color. 每一个声音都有它独特的颜色。Sound defines physical matter. 那个声音会决定那个物质的形状了。What is happening when you are worshiping? 你知道当你在敬拜的时候，什么事情正在发生中吗 ？What is happening when you make the sound that the Creator makes? 当你在敬拜当中，你宣告出那个创造主所的声音的时候 ，What happens when you make the sound of heaven? 当你唱出天上的声音会怎么样 ？The earth that was created through the voice of the Lord， 你要知道这地是透过神的声音所创造出来的 ，still responds to the voice of the Lord， 仍然会仍然会回应神的声音啊。